I think I've always been involved with something I call now non-redundant repetition. I like that very much. Um, the review I just had from the um, William Siegel Gallery in Santa Fe. Um, could I read it? No. No. Okay. But it just um, talks about these grid paintings as being vulnerable, um, sort of subject to chance, and yet they're a response to geometric abstraction. Um, the evolution of the work, um, you know, as a kid I could, wanting to paint a good de Kooning and paint a great Paul Clay and um, I think, you know, in graduate school one had to focus more in um, you know, decide on a certain body of work and be responsible for what that body of work was doing. And I continued on that sort of geometric abstraction um, focus. I just saw a show here in town of Larry Poons and his early ellipses were really um, important to me. One of them hung in Bill Rubin's office at Sarah Lawrence. Um, I used to fight with William Rubin at Sarah Lawrence about Kenneth Noland. Um, and I continued on painting these grids down here for about 10 years and then my friend Enrique said, I dare you not to paint one of them. And so I um, stopped painting them and sort of went into this sort of carnivalesque style of painting that lasted several years. Um, the book that I have that I gave you called Trude Surface um, focuses really on just on work since 2000. Um, but and true surface is all about getting down to the surface. All the surfaces of my paintings are generally practically smooth so that you have this illusion that perhaps you're looking at thick paint, but when you get up close, it's almost like a photograph. I really like illusion. Um, Judith Roddenbeck, who I really respect, wrote a wonderful essay about um, all of the paintings, but also said that a lot of the tools that I use probably relate more to sculpture than they do to painting, but they still are a two-dimensional surface. Um, there's a, another essay in there, an interview rather, that Lisa Wall did for me. Um, and this, I think, describes a lot about how I work. In the 60s, there was something called systemic painting. It was how Solowitz started that this was no longer the heroic the era of the heroic gesture, but of the artist as a worker, and he, he had a plan. And the idea was that he could give the plan for his painting to another person, and that person could render his image. And I also have a great um, love of uh, textiles, pre-Columbian textiles, um, basket weaving. Um, and what I love about those is, um, in this book, I talk about the Cuba weaver, you know, that he has this ancestral recording in his head of how the pattern is supposed to be, but he's got the freedom to meander, to wander. And so I see this way, the, sort of how I've been painting is sort of creating my own games and give myself the opportunity to be the trickster to change the rules of the game.